Hello, hello. It's a good day. It's a good day in America. It's a good day in the world. It's just a good day. I hope you are well where you are. I wanted to have a look about on the, the basic, the coming Trump recession. Uh, the, the, in, the yield on the on bonds has gone inverse, which means you actually get a higher percentage back for buying in the short term rather than buying longer term bonds. And that is usually seen as a big, big canary in the coal mine for a coming recession. So uh, Trump has done everything he could possibly do to give the markets a sugar high and the Republicans already added unbelievable amounts of money to the $22.5 trillion national debt we're dealing with. Uh, and that's more sugar for the system. And it's finally starting to, yeah, the, 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 the economy starting to get the shakes as they start coming down off of that. So let's have a look at the coming Trump recession. And if ever we missed Obama, yeah, this would pretty much be it. Trump recession. Uh, yeah, it, it feels a lot it feels uh, quite a bit like the 2008 recession uh, because just if there will there are people who will be able to take advantage of drastic changes in prices of things. Yeah, it happens every time. Okay, those are the cards for the reading. The good news is these aren't the final outcome, so we'll see what happens there, but stress and poverty are those two cards. Hmm. Let's see, in the past, uh, yeah, they, they did everything. The, this, is, this is the tax cuts for the wealthy and for corporations. America is at the center of the reading, okay. All right, so we're not going to forget who we are. That's good. In times of crisis, one of the bad things that can happen is people really overreact. They forget who they are and, you know, they start, I don't know, torturing people when they shouldn't, you know. Things they wouldn't normally do that are bad. But this looks like we'll remember who we are, so that's, that's good. I'm being drawn. I'm not, I've never been drawn to this before. This little lace she's wearing around her neck is, for some reason, who's jumping to mind is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh, oh, Miss Ginsburg, please, please hold on. Please, oh, please, oh, please hold on. I know you're tired. I know you've already given more than anybody should have to. Just please hold on. Please, oh, please, oh, please. Okay. Let's take a moment just to send her some positive white healing energy. White light of health. Uh, base of the reading. This is, this is small potatoes. Okay. This is individuals helping others, helping friends or people looking at their own finances. That's what that feels like. Above the reading, the super rich. This is the, these are the common people. These are the insanely, stupidly rich people. 1%. Near future, there's Trump. Oh, investigations. Uh, Trump spending Trump at his golf courses. Investigators, let me let me see what else I've got here. Home environment. Well, it's uh, it's okay, and it's nostalgia. It's the nostalgia card, but it it also feels like 
people who have, you know, they sometimes put little gardens, little vegetable gardens in their backyard. I mean, just it just feels like just small little things people do to, you know, save a few pennies here or there. Hopes and fears. We're hoping that nothing bad will happen. And I'm being drawn to the green in her hair that at the moment is, is kind of hits me as um, looking like Christmas, like holly. So November, December is what I'm feeling there. Thanksgiving, Christmas, hoping that we'll have a nice Christmas, that it'll just be a dip. And then the market will keep skyrocketing up. Well, yeah, it, it might considering how completely devalued our currency is because we have a $22.5 trillion national debt anyway. What other people see? Well, we're looking at it. It's in the news. It's a headline. Uh, it's, you know, people are watching carefully. The final outcome, it is cyclical. Uh, you know, the, the econo economies expand and then they contract some and then they can expand again. But they don't just keep expanding. Oh, these are not bad cards. Oh, this is, okay. I'm, I'm seeing some cool heads doing reasonable things. People still wanting to have a, a, a nice Christmas. This is Trump being investigated. That will be our entertainment this fall. And this this just feels like working working through it, it being quite reasonable. Whereas these two cards were really about our fears. Okay. Well, let me put these down over here. So is it going to be a short recession? Is it just is it not just not gonna be that bad? Is it gonna just be a blip? There are recessions that barely happen. Is that is that what's gonna happen here? Where it was a blink, are we gonna have a blink and you miss it recession? So what is the Trump recession going to be like? Oops. This is all feeling very mundane. Trying to put a little extra into savings while you can. Not taking the super extravagant. Yeah, you know, maybe you'd been saving. Maybe you'd been planning on an extravagant vacation, and uh, just not doing that, pulling back. This just feels like married couples. Not married couples are not not necessarily of opposite gender. Just just partners domestic partners of every kind just working their way through it going this is going to work this is everyday business this is the business side of this is the man watching his ships come in this is you know I've sent the ships out I invested in this in the business and I'm it's going to be coming back with the goods that I can sell with the yeah this is not feeling like a catastrophe I mean, you would think from the headlines going on right now that, yeah, the sky is falling. Well, it would have helped the Democratic cause of getting rid of Trump if there if it was worse but on the other hand that would hurt a lot of people so this feels like trump trump space just being trump space so for the democrat to, to ensure more of a democratic victory and putting policies into place to help people that's not necessarily going to be needed There is some funny business going on right now. I feel like there's there's a lot going on behind the scenes we don't know about. 
and Americans who are feeling stressed are feeling a little bit better that that there is there is an end in sight for Trump even if they don't entirely believe that maybe that's going to happen right away all right so uh, the Trump recession Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mean to go sort of Dave Ramsey on you, um, simply because he is so right wing. But he has sensible advice about, you know, making sure you've got, you've got money set aside and um, squirrel away bits here and there, so that you can ha you have a few months cushion uh, or something to cover a, a, a surprise bill. But taking the power into your own hands can avoid a lot of being being reasonable with your money leads to success uh, although if you become super rich you may become a jerk just look at Ghislaine Maxwell yeah be nice that's that's what this is saying it's saying be nice and I can't remember where that card is that I was looking at a minute ago there it is yeah what this is saying is be nice uh, because because even even a relatively bad downturn we've been through so much grief within the Trump era so far that it, it's it's almost like okay that's bad but uh, what do we expect this feels like taking the power into your own hands. This feels like helping where you can, uh, being sensible, and moving forward, moving on. So, uh, I hate to say this, but one of the things, a little kitten, one of the things that might help Trump in this situation is the fact that he's been such a chaos agent for so long that when chaos, other chaos hits, it's like, yeah, t too tired to care. Too long didn't read. No, and Trump, he's so vile. This feels like Epstein. Yeah, our, our, our uh, entertainment this fall. Uh, you know, you might, you, you may or may not want cable, just so that uh, you can can watch because this this feels like it all coming out looks like Epstein did offer tr that feels like tr Epstein did offer Trump something not the, probably some poor person but did he did he uh, at least gonna say he didn't do anything about it but there are going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of discovery and a lot of lawsuits from a lot of very hurt women. I know this has nothing to do with economics, but this is what's coming up, so. Uh, we're going to, their hurt lawsuits, trying to make de decisions about what to do. And the Trump idiot era continues. All right, so that is what I am getting. I, 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 it's good to see that it won't be horrendous. It isn't like, oh my gosh, and that's Trump. So yeah, I, I think uh, that's that. So just, just it, it just seems like just be reasonable you know start regularly finding a way i know how hard it is trust me i know how hard it is i mean don't let the uh the nice view out the window and the kitty fool you um but do what you can and uh we'll get through this all right it's a, there are corrections and then the economy will eventually start expanding again especially once uh this 
card didn't come up for economics, but it, especially when it comes to, to, to the long term and temperance and with the, when the Democrats come back into power, it's going to be, there's going to be quite a bit of relief. I'm not saying they're going to be perfect. They're not. There's, there's plenty of corruption there too, but it, it, people will be, it'll be calmer. And there is a, a kind of new generation, age of Aquarius kind of sharing uh, that's, that's slowly starting to kick in in the country. So hang in there. There are good days ahead. And it seems like there's going to be a nice Christmas. That's kind of what, you know, people doing what they can start thinking about, you know, if you've got to buy presents for kids, maybe have a look at saving some money or lay away or something. So, all right, don't forget. I actually have a, hang on, let me check, because I actually have a count, I have a timer. I know this sounds crazy, but as I am recording this on Wednesday, August 14th, it is 77 days until Halloween. It is 132 days until Christmas, which is not much. All right, so hang in there. All right. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to my patrons. You've been so kind to me and I am so, so grateful. All right. Thank you.